and redesigned for the common candle holder that allows candlestick to last at least twice long. So this is our organizational chart. It is very simple, but it is detailed. So you can see the owner and the manager is located on the top, and then it will be coordinated to the advisory council and as well as the candle designer and production assistant. Our company's vision is that Jeroma will be leading provider of good quality and affordable candle holder that are attuned to the needs of adults. Our mission is that Jeroma Company is a social responsible company providing a high quality candle holder and reasonably priced candle holder which caters to the decoration needs of adults because we all know that candle is not only serves as light it is it also serves as decoration at our home i provided some visuals so you can see the the picture of candle holder it is also stated that it can make your candlesticks last at least twice longer. So this is these are the parts of it. This, the design of reusable candle hoarder is simple that it almost makes you wonder how no one ever thought of it before. The melted wax candle, the melted wax from the candle on the candle holder all flows into the holder's hollow stock. And when we say holder's hollow stock, it is the top of the candle. It is located on the candle drip cup. It, it, it looks like something like this. It has a hole in here, and it is where the candle will be flowing. So how does a reusable candle holder works? First is you will need to place the candle into the candle holder. And then second, you will need to wait for the candle to melt until the detachable glass is full. So this is a sample. This is not the actual model, but this will just give you an idea of how does a detachable glass look. This is how it looks like. You can detach it. When that when the detachable glass is full, it's about time to open the detachable glass. But no worries, it can be attached again to the candle holder and it can be used again. After that, a candle holder will be created out of the melted candle. And if you are wondering how will you be able to replace the candle wick inside, there is a hole in here and you will just insert it and then insert it to the glass holder as well. So this is the sources of supply of Jeroma Company. We will be acquiring our supply from Shizuang Kilai's import and export trade company. It is a manufacturer trading company in Alibaba. So here are the items that we will be needing. Um, for distribution logistics, Jeroma will initially operate home-based and use social media such as Facebook, Instagram, Shopee, and Lazada to showcase our product with the variety of colors it comes with such as silver and gold for the customer to have ease of browsing and ordering. Any customer will have the option to pick up their merchandise or have it delivered at their convenience. Our chosen carrier is JNP Express. Um, I know there, there has been a rumor about them that they are mishandling the products, but when it comes to the delivery, they are very fast compared to GoGo Express. Our mar for marketing plan in for our marketing strategy, we will be using social media because we all know that people has been into technology and social media. So using social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, and Shopee, it will spread awareness or it, there will be aware of our brand and it will increase visibility to younger generation, particularly the millennial and youth or even adults. For sales strategy, we will be using three factors to help boost the turnover of the company. First is to have a extraordinary customer service because we all know that customer satisfaction is the best strategy in order to boost sales. Because, for example, you look for products on Shopee, 
quality, you will be needing to see of the on the reviews. And if you see that the customer are satisfied with it, you will be attracted to the product now. Second, when a customer places an order, they will probably be excited to see the finished product. So our company will ensure the shortest turnaround time possible. Lastly, sales will be boosted by offering customers a very good and high quality product. <clears throat> Here is uh, the financial plan. Having, we will be buying 100 candle holders to the company affiliate. As you can see here, it is $385 for price. It is the price of the 100 pieces candle holders that is brought from Alibaba from China. We also added the insurance cost, shipping fee, and also the retailable value in US dollars. So we converted it and it is equivalent to this one. So this is for the summary. We added everything. So it is equivalent to 29,142.45 pesos. Our company will be having a 30% margin and it will be divided by the total of 70% in order and it will be equivalent to 37,885.185. When we divide this by 100, which is the pieces of the candle holders, we will be able to get 378.85 pesos. Each individual candle holder will then be sold 378.85 as decided by our company using a margin, 30% margin profit. And for a sample of on how a Jaroma company will be conducting our sales, we can assume that 100 holders has been ordered from the company and after all the transactions have been made, Jaroma would have spent a total of 29,142 for all of the expenses. And upon receiving them, Jaroma company would then like to gain a 30% profit from the investment. And thank you so much for listening. Okay, so, um... Can we start? Um, questions? Um, yeah. Um, Janelle, Janelle. Uh, yes. Um, I, I, I really like your idea, no? Um, um, it is, uh, it is a very unique idea. Kasi nobody has, sabi mga kanina, nobody has ever thought about it. But, um, you said also that you will, uh, access these uh, products from a company in Alibaba, correct? We will get our supplies from the yes. company. Okay. So, um, what is it? you're going to to resell in the Philippines? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, may I know what is your a basic question lang? May I know what is your parang um, reseller agreement with the with the mother company or would you rather uh, buy the siguro infringement uh, or pay na lang for the rights to uh, to you know produce it from here para lo locally sourced ang materials then then pay for the importation we will fight we will still import it po since it will be easier for the company Hello? Hello? Hello. Sorry, sorry. I lost my connection. Hmm. Hmm. We will still get our supplies from them since it will be easier. Okay. So, um, is mm -mm. what what is your what is your exact um uh reseller agreement? What will you what will you uh, offer them? What will you agree upon, both parties? We will agree for that all of the information will be um confidential for, so that um they will not, and that they will not be spreading that we get our supplies from them. 
Okay. Um, my follow-up question is, um, when you order the supplies, uh, does it also does it also come with a wick, etc., the ones that you enumerated, or the ano lang, yung candle holder lang? The candle po is included na po. But if we are going to sell it po, we will just use the candle wick and the candle, ay, the candle stick po mm -hmm. as freebies because it is a great marketing strategy po. Okay, okay. But you cannot you cannot source from the local suppliers here the the basic like the like the candle and the wick, para they can reuse it and reuse it all over again. No, no. Why? Because I think it will be easier. If we buy from China, and it is cheaper, po. Okay, okay. Sige, later on, ita ko magtatanong. Sige, Janelle, I have one question, no? Because um, most of entrepreneurs, pag nagsa start sila, uh, they plan na uh, how do they not fail, or yung plan nila is all about. Uh, how to avoid na uh, mag-fail, ganyan. Pero very, very few ng makakilala kong entrepreneurs ang may plano sa what happens pag sobrang successful. So ang question ko sa'yo is, let's say, ang starting mo is 100, tapos nilabas mo yan sa social media, tapos ang demand pala 100,000, paano ka mag-scale? We will be restocking po and order again from the affiliated company if ever the product is a successful product po. Oh, pero pag ganun, di ba may wait time, di ba? Bago dumating yun, bago ma-assemble. So, gano katagal bigla na, na may unmet demands? Uh, ano yung timeline mo ulit for, uh, from the order bago makapunta sa customer yung ano yung product at least one week po kapag umorder po kami dun sa company pero pag po naman nandito na po and ibibigay na lang po namin dun sa customer it will take at least three days po so total turnaround time was around uh, 10 10 days ganyan yes and kung may biglang dagsaan ng 100,000 order Confident ka naman na kayang ma-fill up yung 100,000 in 10 days? I think 50,000 po kaya for yung 100,000 po in 10 days. I think it would be impossible. Mm, so pa pa paano mo ngayon imimitigate? Or pa paano mo, ano yung plan mo para kung maging super successful, hindi ka magkakaproblema? We will maintain our good, good, good quality products, po. Even if we get successful. Sige, no more questions for now, Ariel. I have one more question about the, I know, the social media used to market um what exact what exact plans do you have for facebook let's focus on facebook na lang what are your exact marketing plans are you are you going to use uh, facebook ads are you going to use like in ig also let's say include ig are you going to use influencers or families who really use who like a person who collects candles you know uh, let me let us know your your strategy um, for the mean, for if we are just a startup, po, we I will use po like my family because okay. yes. Uh, what are your exact plans? I mean, specific plans to go about it. We won't. We will not get influencers, po. We will market our products, po, by ourselves, by my family, and take a photos, po. And we may also use po mga posts. Post or ads po sa Facebook. Oh. Okay. That's it. No more questions, Ariel.
Are you not secure? Okay. Uh, um, we we'll, we'll just get back to you if you have any further questions in the end. Uh, we'll proceed with the Cheska first uh, for the meantime para you can uh, shorten for us. Okay, Cheska. Okay. Thank you, Janelle. Thank you, Paul. Can you see my screen now, Pooba? Yes, you can. Okay, Paul. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone. I am Francesca Paula de Castro from Grade 11 Bonifacio STEM. Today, I will be presenting to you my business plan. I will discuss about my company, the Castro Company, and my product, which is the Good Bottles. First, I would like to talk about how I got the name for my company. I decided to have my surname as the name of the company because it is specific, and that will help people remember this company, and especially if they know me as an individual. For the company's vision to bring great quality products and create an opportunity for growth and development, to flourish and let my name be known all around the globe. For the mission, the Castro Company is dedicated to delivering great, great quality products that will be beneficial to all. We look forward to development and growth with our customers. So what is Good Bottles? Good Bottles is a water bottle with a built-in water filter and flashlight. This is something that can be very handy when there is no source of potable water anywhere around you. Because when we are not exposed or we do not have any source of potable water, it can be extremely dangerous for us because our body cannot survive without water for about three days. So as you think of from the bottle, the water gets filtered by the two filter that I have incorporated in my product, the activated car carbon filter and the hollow fiber membrane filter. When the water goes through the filter, the filter extracts most of the chemicals, bacteria, and some odd flavor from the box from the water so basically before the water reaches your mouth it is already filtered the carbon filter will last up to 26 gallons and the membrane micro micro filter will last up to a thousand gallons here on the left is my product design so you can see here the lid the flashlight which you can unscrew from the bottle and the oven bottle The water bottle itself will be made of stainless steel. Um, I look on the inside, the spout, you can see here the water filter as well, again, which will be made from activated carbon filter and the hollow fiber membrane filter. Um, for the activated carbon capsule, it reduces chemicals and it filters up to 26 gallons, which is 100 liters. It acts to remove any substances from the water that may be considered harmful by absorbing them. Some of these chemicals are chlorine, metals, and other undesirable substances. And for the hollow fiber membrane, it filters 0.2 microns and removes 99.9% .9 of bacteria, protozoan parasites, microplastics, and it filters up to 1,000 gallons or 4,000 4, liters. Within the hollow fiber membrane are hundreds of tubes, like small straws, are packed together to form a filter matrix. Um, this is the image. The hollow fiber membrane acts as a barrier, preventing bacteria and protozoa from passing through the filter. Next is the flashlight. You can see here the front view, top view, and the battery holder. Um, these but um, the flashlight will be using a 0123A battery. These batteries can have a shelf life of up to 10 years, depending on the brand. They have ultra high energy, these density, and fast three to five times longer than ordinary alkaline batteries. For the product and service plan, this is the manufacturing process chart. 
the outer and the inner bottle are basically the same. And after that comes the assembly and the tests and the packing. For the production service process and controls, here is a brief description. The stainless steel arrives at the factory in the form of fines and sheets, and then we produce the outer bottle, inner bottle, and then the assembly and the welding, vacuuming, and then the decorating. For the distribution logistics, the Castro company will initially operate home base, and after some time, maybe then we can afford a manufacturing plant or a production plant. For the advertisements, I will create several posters, infographs, and video advertisements. I will also use social media as a platform where customers can order the product. I will also make a website where the product will be displayed and where transactions can happen. For the market research, I'll be talking about the market industry trends and market size and potential. Here is the chart of the um, US reusable water bottle market size by material type. Um, here we have the glass, stainless steel, plastic, silicone, and others. So many buyers choose long-lasting bottles of high content that will last longer and thus not adversely affect the health of the users. Usually, metallic bottles are actually often favored by customers due to their durable and related health benefits. The global reusable water bottle market size was estimated at 61.74 billion, that is in dollars, in 2020, and is expected to reach at 63.7 billion in 2021. The global reusable water bottle market is expected to grow at a compound annual growth rate of 4.0 from 2021 to 2028 and to reach 84.8 .8 billion by 2028. For the financial plan, so I have four colors for the bottle, the silver, rose gold, mint green, and lavender. The cost of this is 2430 In the next slide, I will be explaining how I got that. And for the selling price, it will be 2037 pesos point 50. I have put a markup of 25% on the cost, and my profit then will be 607.50 pesos. So here's the startup summary, the expenses and the cost. Um, for one bottle, there's the cost, and for 200 bottles, the cost will be 486,000 pesos. This is the unit sales break-even analysis. So basically, I would need to sell 158 units to cover my fixed cost. If I sell my anticipated 200 units, then my profit loss would be $522, which is 25,351.19 in Philippine Peso. Here we can also see the total fixed cost, variable cost per unit, sales price per unit, and the anticipated unit sales, which is the 200 units. That is all. Thank you very much. Okay, any questions? I'll start. Um, so when you, uh, sorry, Cheska, right? Uh, is that correct? Yeah. Nung nagsimula ka, you were uh, setting the premise na yung water bottle is uh, critical kung may typhoon or brownout. Is that correct? Tama ba? Yes. Yun yung premise? Okay, so uh, kind of parang ano yun, di ba? Parang fire extinguisher na hindi, hindi mo ma-feel na kailangan mo siya until magkasunog. So why did you choose to go that route rather than, um, if I'm not mistaken, grade 11 kayo, no? Grade 11. Rather than the, uh, anong tawag dun sa isang water bottle, yung nauso sa Visco? Diba? Do you remember Visco? Yung, they have that hydra water bottle, they dress in a certain way, yung mga kids, diba? Visco yata yung tawag dun eh. Tapos naging uso siya sa IG. So naging trendy yung magkaroon ng hydro pack water bottle ba or whatever that is. I, I forget the brand, pero naging sobrang trendy yun eh. So I'm wondering, ano yung 
uh, reason kung bakit ang pinili mo ay hindi siya going uso like Visco and rather Typhoon plus Brownout. Actually, nung na, nag-come up po kasi ako sa product, naisip ko rin po na pwede naman po din siya magamit for everyday. Nabawa po sa top water pag kukuha ko po, yun, pwede po naman po siya magamit sa ganun. And nung time din po kasi na nag-come up po ako sa product na to, nangyari po yung Typhoon Ulysses. So, yun po yung extreme typhoon na nangyari. Tapos yung iba po hanggang bubong na. So, parang naisip ko po, paano po nila nakukuha yung mga basic needs nila, especially po food and water. So, dun, dun, yun po. Okay, sige. Thank you. Uh, yun lang yung question ko, Ariel and uh, Jeans. Ako so far, I have no question, except um, clarification lang. Uh, if kasi Janelle is going to to resell from from, from the products uh, in China, i-clear ko lang, Cheska, are, are you going to manufacture it here? Yes. Okay. It's clear. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, Jessica. Sir, pwede na po share it to Pwede ka naman mag-share. Okay. Yun, okay. Okay. So before I start, is my audio and presentation okay, good po? Can everyone hear me po? Okay. So good afternoon, panel of the board. I'm Angelica Lineta from Grade 11, Bonifacio ABM. And my partnership com company, TechU, will be presenting their business plan. Before I start, here's the ob objectives of my presentation to identify what does TechU offer? Is their product viable? And how will TechU market their product? And most importantly, why should you invest on TechU? So TechU is... Uh, focus on producing environmental technology. As we know, the industrial revolution has brought about new technologies with immense power. This has been succeeded by continued industrialization and further technological advancements in developed countries around the world. And the impact of this technology on the environment has included the misuse and damage of our natural earth. But despite the negative impact of technology on the environment, a recent rise in global concern for climate change has led to help solve some of the biggest environmental concerns that we face as a society through a shift towards a more sustainable economy. So if tech company wants to produce environmental technology, what a specific product do we want to market? Let me introduce to you solar-powered wireless earphones. Now, solar-powered wireless earphones is not solely focused on just the solar-powered add-on feature, but also the sound quality, also enhance the sound quality. As they say, music is what feelings sound like. And with the simultaneous connection, this would improve the user experience and greater flexibility. And also the help of the Bluetooth 5.0 chip would, um, would be introduced the high speed and low delay of connectivity. Lastly would be the battery life, which is the solar power feature that most wireless earphones provide a decent battery life. However, it is vital to purchase wireless earphones that last for a minimum of four to five hour um, talk time or, and, 
and standby time at least over a week. And to match the faster and busy lifestyle today, the SP wireless earphones will get fuel from the sunlight and, and provide you with an exceptional music experience. Rest assured that in the absence of the sun, we will provide you the type C charging port. Now, is the product viable? So we conducted a primary research, specifically the product concept survey, and it has reached 70 responses. So what are the, what do they like about the innovative product? It's of course, it's the solar power and it saves electricity. And we have noticed that the power conservation has been captivating our target market. And since it is solar powered, there's no need to use a lot of electricity to charge. In simple words, less electricity and less billing. Eco-friendly. Again, environmental technology is what tech you company wants to produce. And the product does manifest an earth advocacy that we must focus on. What are the improvements of the product? They believe that we should provide a lot of colors for them to choose from, the compact and packaging of it, and also ensure that the high sound quality of their earphones and the solar power performance of the solar power would not damage the whole product. That is why we provided a solar sensor that will autom automatically stop absorbing um, the, the energy so that it won't damage the product. Lastly is their overall feedback and suggestions. They said it's eye-catching, it has a millennial touch that is in line with the trends nowadays. And also they've indicated that the pricing, that they would, um, they would want to pay the product at a higher price because of the high quality it offers. For our secondary research, here are the graph data, and it is clear that wireless earphones are the fastest growing product with an annual growth rate of 183% in QT 2019. And also with the following graph data is expected to grow a compound annual rate, rate or CAGR of 20.3% from 2020 to 2027. Now, how will TechU market the product? Because of COVID-19 pandemic, we will be selling the product online and it will and oh and it will be also for the convenience of the customers ordering online and having their orders delivered at home they'll be also providing various payment methods and hassle-free deliveries now how now that we identify that we will be selling this online how are we going to do it we could be posting sharing and blogging posting on um posting on Lazada, Shopee, Alibaba, sharing posts on social medias, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and blogging also in YouTube. And we could prov and providing many payment options would also be a marketing strategy for them to order the product. And we've all, and based on our primary research, that majority of the respondents really would want to pay the product at a competitive price, which would be our pricing strategy, competitive pricing strategy, psychological pricing strategy, um, a specific, to be a specific, it's the nine and digit pricing strategy, like 199, 299, for example. And since we're talking about pricing strategy, we'll be, talking, we'll be discussing the financial plan. So here's our startup summary. We will, for a month, we would get 200 units of the SP wireless earphones. The cost per unit um, in US dollars is six dollars and 18 cents and converted into philippine pesos of 299.67 and overall our total expenses would be 72,830.03 pesos we provided a five-year sales projection the cost per unit will remain the same but the number of units would increase 10 percent annually and our srp selling retail price would be 999 this implies the competitive pricing and the um, psychological pricing strategy. For our competitive pricing strategy, if you compare this to other companies such as JBL or Boost, this is actually the most affordable one. This could be maybe the most affordable one and also that provides solar power quality as well. And our total sales for year one will be 2,397,600 and that would increase so year five, 3 million five hundred nine thousand four hundred eighty-seven pesos. For our projected income statement, we have our revenues subtracted to the cost of goods, which would lead us to the gross income of 1,678,392. And our operational expenses are listed here, which would equal to 164,066.76. 
Some of the operational expenses would also increase 10% annually since the number of units also increased. So our total net income for year one would be 1,514,325.24. And this would increase in year five as 2,230,318.81 pesos. And I hope my discussion has met the objectives of this presentation. And before this discussion ends, Teki would like to share um, share a quote by Thomas Edison, inventor of phonograph and a businessman, that good fortune is what happens when opportunity meets with planning. So Techie took the opportunity to introduce the SP wireless earphones and formulated it into a business plan and presenting it to you now. So once again, I appreciate your presence here and thank you for listening. Okay, thank you, Anne. Um, any questions? Volunteer? No yes, questions so far? Sige, ako, I'll have a question for Anne. Um, yung projections, no? Uh, maganda yung numbers, uh, assuming na mahit yung 2,400 in year one. Um, but in the worst case scenario na after year one, zero ang sales. After year two, zero ang sales. Tapos year three pa pumalo yung two, four. Ano yung impact sa production and sustainability ng, ano, ng business? Ano po yun? If ever sa year two and year three po, wala po kami mabenta. Oh, walang benta. Oh. Paano mo masusustain yung business? Or masusustain pa ba yung business? If ever po na maging ganun po, I believe we would have to improve our marketing strategies po. Tsaka if magkaproblema po sa pinagkukuha na namin ng supplies from another country, yun nga po, kaya po naging partnership company ang TechQ. Kasi ang partner ko po would, it, would be a manufacturer. So from our local stores, kukuha po kami ng products, ay ng products, ng mga supplies, tapos mapupudus kami ng product na po. Na iyon. Pero yun nga po, if we were wala pong sales, improve, improve po namin yung mga strategies po namin para magka-sales po. You know? Okay. That's my only question, Ariel. Okay, thank you, Ernest. Jeans, my question. I have a question. Yes. Yeah, I have a question for Anne. Um, uh, you compared your product with uh, JBL, etc. Um, but uh, can you can you safely claim that this is the first and only solar powered wireless earphones? Uh, did you do a competitive check? Kung meron din sila solar powered, because it is it's a good uh, unique selling proposition if it's the first and only in the Philippines. Eh? In the Philippines, yes, but not the first. Oh. Ah, not the first. Okay. All right. I don't know. In the Philippines, yes. Wala pa actually. Except for Lasa. Yeah, kasi that's a good Happy. yeah, that's a good unique selling proposition when you when you launch it kasi that's the first and oh, the first in the Philippines, diba? And then you also leverage on the um the messages of your adver advertising, yung mga concepts would maybe also include the being environment friendly. Uh, educating the users also, the lifestyle users about uh, what it does to the environment, not just the technical aspect of the product. That's only, but that's a recommendation. So the message would be about the product and what it does and how it how it educates the users about being about being um, environment friendly. Because you save kind of energy. Okay. Any other? Anne? Ayan nga po, if ever na may gumaya din po ng product concept plan po. Kaya nga po, pinag-aralan ko din po na yung iba po kasing solar-powered wireless earphones, wala pong sensor which could damage the product po. Kaya yun po yung mga improvements na nilagay namin sa product na may solar sensor, yeah. may alternative kapag wala, wala po yung araw, which is the charging for it. Charging. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. I, I just would like to reiterate the messaging when you, it's for example, launch the product. Uh, also, on the side, the side message mo is about uh, educating the people and the users about its uh, benefits to the environment because we're saving energy. Maganda dun kasing side angle yan when you do the messaging. Okay. Okay, so... I guess wala na aga natin ah. Um una una I'd like to thank uh Jeans and Ernest for their time this afternoon. Thank you too. So ulitin, may mauulit pa may next batch pa. Especially yung mga hindi matapos ngayon. <laughs> mga klase nila ganoon eh. Anyway, uh yun no. Uh, uh, I'd like to thank the students. <laughs> ah. Ang ang Masang galing. I, I didn't imagine na yung grade 11 gumagawa na ng mga business plan. Basta, mm-hmm. i, i, ang layo na niya sa dati nung hindi pa ako grade panahon 11. Panahon natin. <laughs> Oo. Wala Actually, pang grade 11 ng panahon natin. Wala tayong uh-huh. business plan. Actually, I was I was talking to Ariel kanina and I was uh, I shared that um I did the I did, I covered the launch of the Taobao Festival of Alibaba and I was so impressed that young people like them like these students very innovative bang mga it's a festival of inventions ng mga mga quirky weird event but very innovative and this these young people ang ang mga forerunners niya eh. so that's why I sabi ko kay Ariel I am so amazed the students when I read the studies. Uh, okay. ako, I, uh, can I give comments course. to each one of them, Ariel? Sure. Sige. I'll start with Janelle. Janelle, I like the novelty of the idea. It's super original. Ang ganda ng sinosolve niyang problema. So, okay yun. Um, Cheska, uh, ang laki ng opportunity mo not to sell your product short. Kasi pag binuksan mo yung opportunity na pwede siyang maging social status symbol na may ganung kang produkto, malayo ang maabot ng product. And Anne, uh, believe ako sa belief mo in the product that when I ask you what will happen if you don't sell, ang babalikan mo is strategy and marketing and not yeah. changing the product. So yung faith sa product na yung importante. Yun lang. Okay, so words of advice from our panelists. Tandaan niya na. So tapos na tayo. Tapos na tayo kay Jean, tsaka kay Jean, tsaka kay Ernest. Tapos na din ako sa inyo. Okay? Sila na magbibigay ng grades nyo. And uh, okay. congratulations and uh, happy vacation from me. <laughs> sa ibang subject na lang. Hey, okay, thanks everyone. Okay. Thank you, Thank you. and congrats, girls. Thank you, Ariel. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Sige. I'll stay here. May susunod pa eh. <laughs>